It was a monster tornado with the highest winds ever recorded, but Dan Anderson got close enough to videotape flying debris spinning inside the cyclone. I knew uh, more was getting hit real hard and because uh, power lines were exploding. Uh, then I could see the debris cloud. You never know what's in that stuff. I mean, it, it, everything from insulation, roofing, there, there may have been cars, telephone poles, trees, everything. Anderson has been shooting videotape of tornadoes and tornado damage for 18 years, but never so close to a deadly F5. It's made for movie stuff, and it was right in front of me. You know, people say it's like a freight train, but I, it's kind of a, to me, it was more like a B-1 bomber taking off. It was like a jet noise, just a, a ferocious roar. I don't know if I would have been that close to it, filming it or not. It's just hard to say, but, uh, you know, I know it was probably going through his mind. Either, well, I'm getting a good shot, this is a great tornado, or, you know, my God, this is, this is, this is awesome. Kent Tyler and TJ Florence have been awfully close before. Storm trackers, they've been chasing tornadoes since 1995, including this tornado that hit Oklahoma City in June of 1998. On the ground. It's on the ground. On the ground. It's a large tornado. Florence and Tyler chased the tornado through neighborhoods covered with downed tree limbs and power lines. They kept going down the turnpike where the tornado swept semis off the roadway, dropping golf ball-sized hail and damaging trailer homes. That one was a real close call for us because we happened to get into a, the underneath the mesocyclone and that's not a very good place to get. It's called known as the bear cage. Florence admits it takes a little bit of lunacy to see how close you can get to a tornado, but says it's all about warning others. We take it as far as like radar can't see, you know, tornadoes on the ground, so we're doing the actual physical seeing one and that's basically how you do it. But there's a fine line between storm chasing and a brush with death. We came unscathed. I mean, it did pull the molding right out of the windshield of my Jeep. This TJ Florence is seeing a tornado moving toward Sepulpa yeah, right it, now. Yeah, we got damage. Okay. Yeah, we got damage. What now. type of damage yeah, we've got seeing? damage. What type of damage are you seeing? Tree limbs. We got power lines, tree limbs. When we seen the lowering coming up on 66 Highway into Sepulpa, uh, we noticed the lowering and all of a sudden, you know, next thing we know we're seeing transformers and power lines are starting to arc up and, you know, uh, started getting a little exciting then. And yeah, this looks like it could be big. This is a large lowering. Near midnight, skies had long since darkened, so Florence and Tyler had only one way to spot the twister, sparking power lines. That's the best way is look for power lines and, and, and flashes of lightning, kind of to, you know, backlight it and stuff like that. You got debris Take cover right scattered. now. Oh, we got debris scattered everywhere. Okay, we got trailers and everything. We got a lot of damage up here. And by the time we made it into West Tulsa, it caught up to us and we was running parallel to it. We're trying to watch it that way by, you know, keeping parallel to it. And next thing we know it, we couldn't, we lost sight of it and looked in my mirror and it was going across the highway, about 300 yards behind us. Yeah, it's, it's hitting power lines again. There it goes, yes, it's on the ground, it's on the ground. You can see the funnel hanging down. The bright picture or the brightness at the bottom, of course, is a transformer. Meteorologists try to put chasers where the storm is, but hopefully not too close. Reports of victims being sucked up by a tornado put even these veterans on edge. Do you ever worry about that? Uh, afterwards. <laughs> afterwards we do.